how do you find your Pinterest data inside of Google Analytics 4? That is a question I'm starting to get more often ever since the adaptation of Google Analytics 3 into four. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the two ways that I find Pinterest data inside of Google Analytics 4. It's super easy. It's super simple, but you have to use some filters. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Analytics, you're going to go to the traffic acquisition report. To get there, you're going to go to reports and then you're going to go to acquisition traffic acquisition. From here, you're going to have to make a couple of changes to this table. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is go to session source. And then I'm going to have you add a column, but not quite yet. I want you to search for Pinterest first. And you can see here all the Pinterest traffic is starting to populate from all the different countries. Now let's add a secondary view in of page screen and landing page query string filtered in by Pinterest. And now you can start to see all of the Pinterest traffic that is coming through. If it says not set, this is likely due to it being from the home feed or another feed on Pinterest where they can't quite tell exactly where they came from. And by they, I mean, Google can't quite tell exactly on Pinterest where the traffic came from because it wasn't tagged. You can see here, Pinterest.com is sending traffic to the Pinterest system product on Shopify. And quite a bit of my traffic lately is coming from the Pinterest products that I've got hosted on my Shopify store. You can see, see all of those there. And then these not sets are other things on the, either the storefront or on my overall website. So that's one way that you can find Pinterest traffic. Okay, so there's a second way that you can find your Pinterest traffic if you're using UTM codes with Google Analytics, and that is the same report. So we're gonna start all over. Reports, acquisition, traffic acquisition. And then what you're simply gonna do is you're gonna change this um, header column here to be session campaign. From here, you can begin to see all the session campaign names that pop up. These are from my Shopify store. This is a retargeting ad that I'm actually running on Pinterest. And then you can start to see the names of emails that I've sent um, over the course. These are either in sequences or these are, this was a newsletter that I sent. And then if you start to filter down through, you'll see all of these different campaign names. If there's a specific campaign name that you're looking for, you can always search for it here or you can always search for um, whatever other things that you build your inside of your UTM codes. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you go to build a UTM code for Google Analytics, you can use this free tool called GA Dev Tools and you're gonna to go to campaign builder and you can see here, there was a campaign that I was building for an Etsy listing and I would use the campaign ID, the session source, the medium. So any of these items that you actually build into your campaign information, you can use to find inside of Google Analytics to search for. So if you have a campaign um, ID that you wanna search for, you can search for that. Now this is an older campaign, so it's not likely to actually result in anything. <laughs> It's been a while since I ran that one, but you get the gist. So anything that you use to build your campaigns, any of those terms or identifiers, you can also search for in this location. And those should then come up for you and you can see how well those are doing. Now that you know how to find your Pinterest data inside of Google Analytics 4, you might want to know how to create a more optimized Pinterest marketing strategy. If that's the case, head on over to this video right here and watch the Pinterest marketing, what I would tell my friends. And I'll see you there.